It's hard to reflect on the relative frivolity of uh, such questions about um, how we perceive our world. So working with new technology throws one immediately into this question. Virtual reality is rather interesting. Does it represent a new window on seeing and another version of the world? There are things that it does very, very, very well and can have this um, visceral effect. So we start in a garden of a kind. Of course, things happen. One kind of falls through. One of the things I've discovered about this medium is that it's very good at vertigo. So of course, the vertiginous and the sublime are very close to each other. This idea of a poetic kind of falling in. So it's a kind of inversion of the self. But how to, you know, have it be an, a, a condition, a singularity, rather than uh, an elaborate processual journey, it's a narrative journey in other words. Yeah. Technology is the only limitation really. Our ability to see, I think, is, has to be the other. That is a poetic, it's a poetic limitation. We can do it, I believe, technologically if we can see it. One of the things I've been concerned with over the years is a relationship between materiality and non-materiality. Looking for conditions of material that are more material than material. Now, it's a weird idea, um, but I do believe it exists. Virtual world offers that as a possibility, because it's all happening in your head, it isn't real. And since it's all happening in there, there is this sense that it, it's got a, a hyper quality.